Welcome back to Subnautica. I'm literally right where you left me. Trying to find the breaches. Do you have a spare battery for this? But I don't think it's going to come to that. I'm hoping that once I get all of these sealed off, I can actually go above water and explore the ship. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Swing around here. I don't know if some of these leaks are above waterline or what. There we go. Heat signature 1417 meters. That's interesting. That wasn't there before. So I am inside the spaceship Aurora. I'm trying to patch all the radiation leaks so I can go above water level. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. There is one leak somewhere. Last one. So you clear enough of them downstairs and the radiation gets low enough that you can get above the water line. Yes. Attention. High energy particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. Aquatic radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days, 10 hours. Okay, so it's gonna start decontaminating the area. Very cool, which means now we have to think about Can I put this out? Or is that a fallacy? That's fallacy, it looks like. Ooh. We've got a big ship that we can finally start looking around. Assessing internal damage. Damage pattern inconsistent with internal malfunction. In Aurora black box device not found. Does that mean it was sabotage? Oh. 87% of habitable sections of the ship were rendered uninhabitable during detonation. I don't know if I'm going too far into the ship or what. It is getting very hard to see. It looks like this is all blocked off. 
So I'm gonna go over here. Wow. I really wish it would be daytime soon. What are you? That's a thing, and I don't like it. I'm going back this way. Yeah, the uh, st internal structure of the ship is a complete nightmare. Let's go back down to the water. Okay, that hurt. That doesn't go anywhere. Oh. I'm gonna wait and come back. When it's daytime, I also need to come back with more food and I... And I saw some nasty critters in there. Let's get out of here. I saw some nasty critters in there that easily looked like they could uh, mess me up. Let's go back to home base. Um, quite a few of them uh, are, were small, little spidery things. I thought I saw some larger things move in the distance, but that could easily have been my paranoia. I can say, however, we can actually get near the Aurora now and salvage and research a lot of the stuff around there. Um, we've gained some research for some uh, something called a Cyclops hull. I don't know what that is, though. I don't know if that's a vehicle or what. Um, if it is, then uh, it might be something we need to consider investing in if it's a larger vehicle than the Seamoth. Because the Seamoth is pretty small. Oh, wrong key. I just dropped it. Let's do that. We are so far in the distance from our home base. The strange and exotic environments that we've come past. What are you? I want one of you. New creature discovered. You're going to be dinner when I get home. This is one of the reasons why I'm also glad that I have stockpiled water. Because we are going to be very low on hydration levels once we actually get back to our front door. And there we go. Home is back within sight. That is the longest trip I have taken in this game by far and away. Let's put the sea glide away. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, it's good to be home. Okay, first things first. Let's drink some water. Reginald fish. Let's hope Reginald is delicious. Um, oh wow. Ooh, okay, well, kinda wasted one. Can I put a cooked fish in the no I can't. We have a lot. These bad boys now. One, two. Yep, we got two. 
We gained two while we were out. Which means now I can put those there. Yay! Okay. Um, I'm gonna put a cooked fish in there. That's probably a bad idea. Power efficiency. I don't know what to do with this. Hmm. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna put that back, that back, that back. I have... a whole bunch of that. Okay, let's look at this one more time. We have something called a Cyclops hull. Current generator. Mobile vehicle bay. I'm gonna run out of copper. But I need to make a power cell so I can actually legit make this mobile vehicle bay. You see how I said some of those mushrooms actually look like they come back? I, they really do. And I still need silicon. I'm gonna have to go visit the... Um... Ooh, I wonder... Um... 54%? Nope, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Real quick. Go hit the creep vines. I need to get some creep vine seeds and get back. Because that's what I need to make uh, silicon rubber. I think I need to get at least three of them. Okay, inventory pull. Let's go back home. Nice and quick. That's one of the reasons why I love this Sea Glide. I'm going to have to keep the thing in batteries, though, and that's a little distressing. Okay. I remember, right? Silicon rubber. There we go. And now I need to make a power cell. And to make one of these, I need a titanium ingot and lubricant. I've got both of those things. Yes. Okay. Now we just go out here. Here we go. Use vehicle bay. Maybe I have enough space. Let's go up here. matter okay Let's do it this way a window should come up It gives me options, but maybe I just don't have anything patterns-wise that it will actually build yet. Okay. Here's home. Here's home. Well, we've got one. Uh, at least that's a perk. I'm gonna have to... Get one of these bad boys. The water's getting low again.
Okay, so you go in the equipment locker until I can figure out what's going on. Um. I think that's probably going to decay, but whatever. So, if I get a Cyclops hull and I can't build it with that thing, maybe there's other parts to the Cyclops I need to buy, I need to get. Hmm. Not sure. O2 tank, fins, radiation suit, still suit. I can finally build first aid kits. That's nice. Rebreather. Ooh. I don't know what that does, though. Computer chip. HUD temperature sensor. That might be useful, but, um... Man. A dive reel. I've actually considered making one of these specifically because um, I could attach it and go down into caves and reel out real quick. I think that could be actually useful. I'm going to have to make one of these things, but I don't have a diamond yet. I'm going to go much deeper. So, I think we've hit a bit of an impasse. Go see. Okay. So we made it onto the ship, but we need to plan it to where we travel there during the night. So when we get there, it's daytime and we have maximum amount of time. We're also not dorking around in the engine room trying to fix radiation repairs. Um, that's one thing that we're going to have to plan for our next trip. Now... Heat signature is one thing that came up. Let's see, where's the... Okay. Heat signature. I'm curious to head this direction and see. Now that I don't need to worry about um, radiation and travel in this direction as much as I want to. That is going to be a long ways. I can see that already, but that's okay. It's going to be worth it. I'm keeping my eyes out for research boxes. Because I know there's a couple more things I still need. Ooh, like this. Do we have any... Bioreactor fragment? Okay, we have a bioreactor now. Uh, I think that's just going to get us titanium. This is all bioreactor stuff. Nope. Yep, those are the little buggers that are really nasty. Silver, desperately needed. Yep. Okay, heading this direction actually might have been a really good idea because I'm seeing... Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's put this on. And head for the surface. Little piranha-looking guys. They swim up to you and basically start chewing on you. And they do a lot of damage once they latch on. They are very dangerous. Love being able to hammer stuff with my equipment. Okay, somewhere over here. More bioreactor. And I'm betting this is probably bioreactor also. Yep. Yep, one shot and they're dead. There's still a pain in the backside. Okay. Oh, here's one last thing. Ooh, base filtration system. That's one of those armored nasty things if I... Correction, I don't know what that is. Yep. The armored guys dig into the dirt and sneak up on you. Let's see, is there another base filtration box around here somewhere? Limestone chunk. Didn't really need that, but whatever. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen oh. remaining. Let's go upstairs real quick. Upstairs. Why did I say that? Oh my gosh! 
You guys see that? That's an island. Oh, that is amazing. Okay. There was a box around here that I was going to scan. I think it's this one. Nope, more bioreactor. I was hoping it was base filtration. That is a really weird looking egg. I'm... Those things takes up a huge amount of inventory space. I'm not going to pick it up just now. Because it literally looks like they're all over the place. Okay, so let's go straight up. There it is. You can see a little bit more of it as the waves, but there's a massive peak coming up over the clouds. Wow. And it doesn't look that far away. Ooh, it's going to be nighttime soon. There's a heat signature that I'm going to go over to. Oh, things just got dicey. Okay. Those look exceptionally nasty. Okay, it's time to go home. Especially hearing that noise. I'm going to swap out a battery here soon. I'm going to head back to the base and we're going to have to make a concerted effort to see if we can figure out how to build the Seamoth and get all the parts for it. We can do that. There we go. Easy as pie. We can do that and make the actual Seamoth or whatever this Cyclops thing is, if it's something bigger, and make one of those. We can get a faster vehicle and then head over to that island. I think it could be an amazing location. Maybe we actually want to make a permanent base there. Maybe that's the better idea. I don't know. It's going to be real interesting. Should get my freebie health kit because I need to actually use it. Get back in the base. Home sweet home. Welcome aboard, Captain. We've caught a glimpse of the island. There is land in this game. So, I'll see you folks next time on the next episode of Subnautica.